Hello people, this is a short tutorial on wall jumping and a little more. Let me just start out by talking about the concept of exploration. Exploration is the idea of pushing the limits of the game and reaching places that players were never intended to reach. And to this end, many techniques and glitches have been discovered over the years, out of which the most important would have to be wall jumping. Wall jumping means exactly what it sounds like, and it is possible due to two factors. One, the rough polygons in the surface of textures that make it possible to get stuck on nearly vertical walls. And two, being able to jump as though you are running without first running. This is done by pressing run and jump simultaneously, usually W and space respectively. The timing is notoriously difficult to pull off, which is usually the biggest deterrent for people interested in exploration, but luckily there are ways to make it easier for us. First off, I advise that you use a mechanical keyboard to wall jump. This makes the timing much easier to pull off. Also, you can go into the advanced system settings in-game to lock your max foreground FPS. And lowering your FPS to 26 will increase the time window you have to press W and space at the same time, and effectively making it much easier to wall jump. And there is also the option to use another software to create a macro that will press W and space simultaneously for you. Take a look at this texture. Notice the lines where the surfaces meet? These lines are directly related to how well you can jump in this place. And an experienced explorer can read the lines to get an idea of how to maneuver the terrain. Although whether or not you can perform a wall jump in classic seems somewhat arbitrary. The biggest part of being good at wall jumping is knowing where to aim. And whether to aim straight along the mountain or more at an angle towards it depends on the steepness of the wall, as well as how concave or convex it is. And then there is the arbitrary element, which means you can never be certain until you try. Sometimes it will take 10 attempts to stick a landing, even though you are seemingly doing the exact same thing on every attempt. Depending on what terrain you're exploring in, you will have different techniques available to you. Let me show you one that I call stucking. Stucking is a technique used to gain a slight height advantage. There are two ways of doing this. A. Simply toggle walking instead of running. Walk out on a mountainside to get stuck. Toggle running back on while you're still moving and do your jump. This can only be done in some places, so you will have to try out and see if it works. Or B. Walk over a line or jagged edge as I showed you in the previous picture, repeatedly, until you get elevated slightly and are seemingly stuck in place. Buildings and structures act differently from terrain and can rarely be wall jumped in the previously mentioned ways. Jumping on the edge or side of a building's roof will often get you stuck, but jumping on Walls of the building can rarely be pulled off at all. But when it's possible, you can usually jump vertically. An example of that would be the old school Stormwind Auction House jump, or uh, the top of the Booty Bay Inn jump. The first is extremely difficult to recreate and works only in that specific spot, while the second uses a consistent technique that works on most roofs. Now, when you are trying to climb a horizontally concave surface, it's sometimes possible to go straight up while jumping. The skill set of the explorer is not limited to just wall jumping. One technique would be sizing through textures with a consumable or with a mount. The way to do it with a consumable is simply place yourself under a texture, use the consumable, which in this case is an elixir of giant growth, then log out and log back in. When you log back in, you will be able to jump through the texture.
Now with the mount, you simply mount up while standing under the texture and then just as you're about to finish casting the mount, you alt the form. You quit the game instantly without logging out and when you load back in, you will be mounted and you will have basically sized through the texture. Also, sometimes it's possible to get stuck inside textures and you can use this to your advantage to jump in a certain direction, for example, that you wouldn't otherwise be able to. Additionally, movement speed modifiers, slow fall and growth tools like you just saw are all incredibly useful tools when exploring. So here's a small list of some useful items.